Okay then guys, we have got a cool one for you guys. Today we have got the Banished Armor Set. Now the Banished Armor Set comes in two different forms and today you're going to be able to get both quite easily. We have got the Banished Knight Helmet which has got an altered version, the Banished Knight Chest Piece which has got an altered version and then we have got the standard set which you're seeing on screen right now. We're going to stick the statistics up on screen so you can have a quick look at them but there are two versions of this that you guys can farm very, very easily. Now there are two locations I'm going to show you guys. One of them is relatively easy another one is going to be a little bit harder but though if you do get bored while farming this you can obviously switch it up but there is a little bit more of a difficulty around it but we'll get into that in a sec the first one which is the easier version is in the southern area of Kalid and this is going to be where you are going to spawn up and there is going to be an ad directly in front of you you want to take out that ad and then rinse and repeat I recommend fast traveling because if you just go to the gray site come back out of the gray site and go back it doesn't actually seem to be there you need to actually pass time so what you need to do is fast travel back to the gray site time will pass and then we want to go back around and take him out all over again now this didn't take me too long to get the entire armor set it took me around 10 minutes and like i said there are two versions we have got the helmet and the chest piece which have an altered version as well now this will actually drop all of those pieces of the armor set even though it's not actually wearing them technically the way that this one actually works is it has a helmet and a chest piece and then on top of that we have got the cloth helmet and then the other chest piece that rolls alongside it but because of the way that this ad works it actually has the armor set that's altered underneath because the creators of Elden Ring really like to make things really easy for us so actually you can obtain all of it just by farming this one location but if you do get bored of it and you want to go somewhere else there is a separate area and that's going to be in the northern region of the snow biome and this is a little bit of a nightmare version I'm not going to lie to you which is why I recommend the Kalid one first but when you get up here there is going to be that ad that you want to farm but there's also going to be two white wolves and these do get quite frustrating because it means that you can't fast travel until you've taken all three of them out obviously because they aggro but this is another way that you guys can farm this so depending on what build you've got depending on how quickly you can take things out this is going to be another viable option like I said the one in Kalid is just so much bloody easier and it's just a lot quicker to obtain and but considering you can obtain the entire armor set that through the Kalid one I don't know why you'd want to do this but I thought I'd give you guys the option now as you can see on screen this guy has actually got the altered armor set on there I find it really interesting how they've made it droppable from both places but this is just how it works, I guess. Now, this is a really, really, really interesting armor set and one which I've been really enjoying personally. And the farm actually wasn't even too bad. And you can see throughout the clips that we've got on screen right now, it all happens quite quickly. And it, I think it took me about 20 minutes totaled, I think, to get all of the pieces all told. There is also a sword and a shield that you can obtain through this. So if you guys want to try and figure out a build with the weapons and the shields of that pieces as well, you can also rock those. It's a really enjoyable set and a really easy one for you guys to get your hands on. And there seems to be a lot more of these farmable sets that you can actually obtain. So we've gone on around on the hunt for some armor sets because you guys have put into the comments just recently that armor sets is something that you want to try and look for just to give you guys a bit of an edge. The best thing about these armor sets is it's all solely really cosmetic other than some of the helmets they actually give you some added bonuses and added buffs but as an overall you just kind of really wanted to work this around your build so that you look pretty damn cool indeed. Now to be boost up the chances of getting these to drop you do have a few options and this is actually a very easy way of being able to boost it up because you have a discoverability stat which is obviously attached to your arcane so we have got the silver tier mask that you guys are going to want to get your hands on and you have also got the silver foul pickle foot that you guys can also utilize as well and we have got the silver scarab all of these things boost arcane boost discoverability and make it so that it can probably drop the these gear pieces a lot quicker than it would as if to, if you didn't use them so my recommendation is to make sure you've got all three of those items used and then you can go ahead and farm away a very very cool armor set and one that I'm actually kind of really enjoying just because the variation of it is pretty clever and it leads me to believe that there's probably a load more armor sets that have got numerous variations that you can get to drop from one specific ad so I'm on the lookout for that one right now thank you very much again for watching guys if you haven't already slap that like button subscribe post notifications turned on appreciate your faces and as always I'll see you in the clouds.